Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Lurk, and today you are going to do a keyboarding checkup to see how much you have improved since September, which is the last time we took a one-minute test on typing.com. All right, so the first thing you need to do is open up the typing.com website by clicking the link on your Google Classroom. So go ahead and do that. That should open up to this page, and I want you to click Login on the top right-hand corner. After you click login, you can click login as a student if this shows up. Or it might take you right to this page. Look for the blue Google box right here. Click on that. And that should get you into the website. And look up at the top of the menu bar. There's a line underneath lessons. So we're not going to do lessons right now. Um, also, if you see other windows pop up like this down here, just X that out. That's fine. Do want you to click on tests way back in the beginning of the year you took a one minute typing test to see how you were doing and this is the testing home page on typing.com if i scroll down i can see all the different tests that i've taken so way back in september it shows me how i did 31 wpm that's words per minute that's how fast you're typing and then the accuracy, I was 97%. And then each time I take the test, I see how I did. Now, my scores are going down because well, I was making videos while I'm doing it. Your score should go up if you're making improvement. However, it's no good to have a high words per minute with low accuracy. That just means you're like making your fingers go crazy and typing whatever on your keyboard. And that's not okay. You're not going to get better. So when we're in class, I want you to try and try to get better. Uh, it's kind of fun to see how much you've been improving. So let's see how you're doing. Next, I want you to click on start test and then just wait. So I'm gonna click on mine. All right, so this is a one minute test. Again, don't click anything. Once you type something on your keyboard, it's going to start timing you. Here's the timer over here. All right, so once I start, the countdown will begin. I just type as well as I can for one minute. Capital letters matter. So that's a capital T. I have to hold down the shift key and then press the key. T key. So here I go. As I type, if I do it correctly, it's turning green. I want to try not to look at my fingers while I'm typing. Now, if I make a mistake, I'm going to make a mistake here. I'm going to press uh, L. It turns red. There's two things you can do. You can either keep on typing, I press A, or you can press backspace on your keyboard. It's kind of in the top right hand corner, big key says backspace. It goes back to where I made the mistake. And then I can correct it again, or I can just keep going on. So I'm going to make a mistake here. I'm going to press Y. Oh, all right, just keep on going. So it's up to you what you want to do. When you get to the end of the test, this page will show up. Uh, typing test complete, and it shows me my words per minute and my accuracy. Again, I'm making a video, so my scores are going to be really low. Um, but you want to compare how you did with your previous test. So you want to find the Back to Typing Tests link. You might have to scroll down to find it. Click on that. And that'll take you to your testing homepage. And this is a chart that shows you how you've been doing. So I started off good and, well, not so good. But again, remember, I'm making videos for you guys. And here's my actual scores. Um, I suggest taking the one-minute test two times today because the first time it's kind of like, oh, what am I doing here? And then the second time, a little more relaxed, and you'll probably get a better score. So do it one time. I recommend two times. Um, you can take the one-minute test as many times as you'd like. Some people have asked, can they take the three-minute or five-minute test after the one-minute test? You most certainly can. That's up to you. might be interesting to see your score now and then do it again in June and see how you've improved. Uh, but when you're done taking the tests, then you can go to the lessons. And these are things that we've done before. Just find where the yellow button is to resume, and you can start. And then in a little bit, we will, uh, I'll call tables to get books. And then you can also go to the games once you have those choices of either continuing the lessons, games, or getting books. All right, that's it. Good luck.